On this episode of China Uncensored, did China force NYU to kick out Chen Guangchen? Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your former NYU student, Chris Chappell. Hey, remember Chen Guangchen, the blind Chinese rights activist who, while being blind, escaped from house arrest in Shandong province and somehow managed to make the 300-mile trek to the American embassy in Beijing for sanctuary? Did I mention he's blind? Well, it seems like even after becoming an international incident and being allowed to leave China for the United States under the auspices of the State Department, he still couldn't escape the far-reaching gaze of Sauron. I mean, the Chinese regime. New York University, the school that beat out all the other contenders for Chen's coattails and granted him a fellowship, has just kicked him out, allegedly caving under pressure from the Chinese regime. Why would China apply that pressure, and why would NYU cave? To be fair, Chen did a lot of vicious things in China that the government had problems with, like defending women's rights. On Monday, Chen released a statement saying NYU kicked him out because of unrelenting pressure from the Chinese regime. And considering NYU is a leading American university with an endowment of more than $2.5 billion, that's a problem. Chen also said in his statement that the Chinese regime has been meddling in the academic circles in the U.S. to the point where it's threatening our academic independence and freedom. Hey, a fortune cookie. Confucius Institute says, take our money, don't talk about Tibet. So, Chen said that NYU started talking about his departure as early as last August, after he only arrived there in May. This also seems to kind of go along with a New York Post story from last week. It said that NYU's beloved Shanghai campus, the one they've been working on for several years, might not work out so well if they continue to harbor people the Chinese authorities don't like. Now, of course, NYU is saying they're confused by Chen's statements because he only had a year-long fellowship to begin with and that they began talking about Chen's departure several months ago to give him time to prepare. In other words, they're calling him a liar. Which, strangely enough, is exactly what China's foreign ministry said. Personally, if I ever find myself agreeing with China's foreign ministry, I know something's terribly wrong. But why then is he being kicked out in the middle of June and not the beginning of May when school let out? The timing of this all seems really suspect. We don't know when NYU gave Chen the final notice, but it looks like it happened after Chen became much more active in condemning the Chinese regime. He recently spoke at the European Parliament, urging it to stand up to evil forces within the Communist Party. And just this month, Chen released a statement with Nobel Peace Prize laureate Desmond Tutu, strongly criticizing the Communist Party's persecution of different groups of people, including Falun Gong. That statement also mentioned forced organ harvesting of prisoners of conscience. Those are pretty big third rail issues in China that you simply cannot talk about if you want to have any dealings with the Chinese regime. For the record, Chen Guangchen has expressed gratitude to NYU for housing him and his family for the past year and helping them transition to life in the U.S. So, considering all of what has happened, what do you guys think is behind NYU's decision? I know as an alumni of NYU who gave them a buttload of money that I will be paying off into eternity, I'd like to know what's going on. Leave your comments below and be sure to check back tomorrow for new episodes of China Uncensored.